All right, here we are. Welcome to Pop Dust Presents. Um, this week is sponsored by thetastingroom.com by Lot 18. We're drinking a lovely Bordeaux Rouge. Ro Rouge? Um, however you pronounce it, it's probably not like that. But we are here with Caleb Hawley, who just played a couple of incredible songs, um, is wearing a really amazing shirt. I like cats. You like cats, yeah. specifically. Well, I noticed on your, uh, what is that called, a pick, um, yeah, yeah. pick guard? Cat themed pick card. You know, oh, it's holographic even. Holographic, yeah. Wow. Yeah. The thing is, I actually don't really like cats that much. But Are I, you a dog but person? I, I am a dog person, but I feel very cat like tonight, you know? Okay, so it's, it's it, I mean, clearly that's your theme this evening, and so yeah. it's important to know who you are, like, depending on the night. Exactly. For sure, for sure, exactly. for sure. So we just heard of a couple of incredible songs um, by you. you, and so I know that there's a new album coming out, right, sometime mm -hmm. in the spring at some yeah. point. What can you tell us about that? I don't have a specific day for it yet, but I'm going to be putting out, uh, like, the songs gradually. Mm -hmm. So, like, that song, those two songs I played will, will be on it, um, and I'm going to be putting out a song every couple weeks until cool. the album which will be some either late March or April. Do you produce it all yourself as well? Do you come up with all <clears throat> that? Mm -hmm. Well, it depends. Um, for the most part, yeah. But okay. I, uh, there's a couple. I think there's there's a couple of collaborations that mm -hmm. I've that I've done. But for the most part, yeah, I have a a storage unit up in Harlem. It's like a little closet, yeah. and and I just just jam. do it all there. Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Well, I don't want to brag, but I was I was lucky enough to hear a little preview of the album today, mm -hmm. and it's. Incredible, like the '70s sort of vibe, like Thank you. everything about it. Is is that something you were aiming for? The sort of '70s, '80s feel, or um, did that just come about? I think it, honestly, it just came about. Like yeah. I, um, I, I've I've done some music that has more like more of a timestamp as far as the the dating of it and stuff in the past, mm -hmm. and and so I was trying to. So I mean, that I tend to incorporate that just right. I guess naturally at this point, but. Um, but yeah, no, not not necessarily like intended. Right. You know, is that the kind of music you listen to? Like, what do you, what do you like? Like, what has inspired you just as somebody who likes music? Yeah. Uh, well, my favorite artist for the last two years has been mm. this guy, Lewis Taylor, mm. and no one knows who he is. And I try to, you know, I try to I try to spread the word of Lewis Taylor because I just think he's like the greatest the greatest musician. He's just a singer songwriter. <clears throat> he's he's a singer songwriter producer, and he. Plays all the instruments. He he makes like extremely rich music, and um, mm -hmm. and honestly, he retired. So it's mm. weird. It's really strange. Like you can't find anything about him. And so, I don't know. How did you find out about him? Like how did a that come you know about? like a couple of friends, like three friends actually. And the first time I heard it, uh, this was probably like I don't know, a, a while ago. And some somebody told me about him, and I was like, man, this is really good stuff. Right. But then I just didn't continue on with it. And then a couple years later, someone showed it to me again. I was like, this is really great. Yeah. I didn't rem remember his name again. And then the third time was just a couple years ago. And that time, like, I probably thanks to, like, Spotify and just the accessibility of yeah. music, I was just like, I, I got into it, and now I've been trying to spread the word of this dude. So, Very cool. And but is I mean, it a similar style? Is it the, the guitar playing kind of? Actually, totally not at all. Really? But, but, so, <laughs> That's even yeah, better. Like, yeah, that makes sense, yeah, you know? Yeah, but I, I just, yeah, I mean, as far as inspiration, I've had, a, I've, I don't know, I've, I've listened to a lot of different stuff over the years. I've gone through different mm -hmm. phases. and. How long have you been playing music? Like, how long has this been in your life? 20 years. Wow. Yeah, <laughs> long time. And how did it start? You just... I had a guitar and I learned some Nirvana songs and surely someone gave you that guitar though it didn't yeah, just yeah, it didn't yeah, just I fall got, into your I lap. Got, <laughs> I got a guitar for Christmas. Actually, I got a drum set. Yeah. And, I, and, a, and and then my parents gave my brother a guitar and I and I was wanting to do drums. Okay. And I think they were hoping that we'd both play guitar because drums are like loud and annoying. Yeah. Annoying to parents. Yeah, they, they like signed us up for lessons and hmm. I just I like I took to it and yeah. and then I started um, and then I had a chance to perform, and after that, it's like, that's all I wanted to do. Yeah, never yeah. looked back. I wasn't sure what your hair was gonna look like when you showed up, because obviously today I was, you know, like, Googling, etc. Yeah. Yeah. All these pictures of you, like, you had a mustache and short hair at yeah. one point. Like, yeah. is there one that you, is, is this the is this the look? Have we found I, I, it? I mean, like, right now, it's, just, it's always gonna change. You know okay, I mean? like, if all you right. look at any artist, I mean, I've been doing music for, a, like, a decade at least, sure. and so, you know, if you like, if you were to go through any artist and their hairstyles, you'd probably find a lot of variety. Sure. Yeah. But right now, um, 
Yeah, I feel like I went through like this kind of crooner, like trying to be smooth guy. Like, and you don't think that's you? I'm that, that so work. not smooth. <laughs> okay. I'm like so far from that. So it's like, then I decided I need to just like, you know, this is more authentic to me. And, okay. And, uh, Cats and uh, you know and cats and that's your that's your thing yeah. that's what you're doing. You guys probably can't see, but he has incredible gold sneakers on right now. Oh, um, yeah. Maybe throw one up, yeah, just go. for the people. You, you know, know. let them know. Yeah, you know. spread your word. I'm trying. I'm trying, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, the other important topic I felt like I had to bring up is in my googling. <laughs> I did see a video of you playing the electric guitar in the bathtub. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, and I just, I feel like I need more information <laughs> on that. Um, because yeah. you know, you're always told, like, don't bring your, like, blow dryer near the bathtub. Like, be careful with, like, electrical devices. Yeah, I was part of the... You were on something. Like, no. <laughs> we were, I was on tour with a band, and we had, like, a day off. And I was, like, we were staying at this, my manager's uh, house. And okay. I was, like... And for some reason, I just was like, let's film a video oh, it's in amazing. the bathroom. It's, it's, it's like, an incredible all, video. They all, thank you. They all had like, uh, like electric shavers, and they were like making beats with them. And, and, I, was like, so cool. and I was like, I'm just going to go in the tub. It was actually really, really hot. Like, it, I mean, <laughs> by like, like uh, physically hot, you know? And, <laughs> Man, and, uh, it, was, it was just like sexy. And, like. <laughs> <laughs> that too. But no. Right. Just, but um, yeah, and uh, I don't know. I guess maybe like part of... Part of the risk factor, you know, mm -hmm. like uh, right, like do the thing gave you me love. More right, <laughs> right, like do it no matter the stakes, yeah. like death, whatever. What are you gonna do? Yeah, like, exactly. You know, I figured like that would keep someone watching because they're yeah. like, this dude might die by the end of this. So, <laughs> so you, know. you know, I gotta see what happens. Yeah, exactly. Fair enough. Are you one of those people who finds New York City like artistically inspiring? Like, is it, is it uh, that kind of like throbbing center of the world for you, or is it just somewhere you ended up? Like, um, yeah, I mean, we, we definitely, <laughs> the first time I came to New York, I, I was going to say, I, what is that story? Well, then? Well, it's just so, it's so, it's so cheesy. Like, the first time I came to New York, I remember I, I came out, I got out at uh, Times Square, and it was like yeah. midnight, and I was like 20, oh, and I called my mom, and I was like, I'm moving here, this is so cool, I love it, and uh, it's Times Square, you know, so yeah. it's like, how often do you go there now, but, right, but so that, place. Was, that, was, that was like, that was like the thing, the, the influence, you know, and then. And, uh, but yeah, no, I mean, it's, it's super inspiring. It's an mm -hmm. inspiring place because you, and you're always around, I'm, I'm often around other artists who are creating, and so it just helps yeah. to uh, uh, keep me motivated. Sure, you know? absolutely. That's nice. Yeah, I get that. As far as writing your songs, where does that usually come from for you? Like, what does that mm -hmm. process look like? Is it just like a <laughs> lyric first, or like you think of like a melody? What yeah. is that? I honestly... I was just looking at, I don't know if anyone uses this app, Pocket. It's a great app. Pocket. And, uh, and they always have headlines. They always have, like, headlines on them. And I just scrolled through, and I saw this thing that said self-control is overrated. <laughs> and I, that resonated with me because I have terrible self-control. So <laughs> I was like, I, I'm going to read this, you know? And then so, uh, and then that was just, so, like, for instance, like, that line just came into my head, and I yeah. was like, you know, self-control is overrated. And then... They got something to say, go on and say it. And then it just kind of went from there. Yeah. So, like, the process is always different, but, mm -hmm. like, that one happened to be from some random headline, you know? Right. But I, I would say that I that I do think it's best to um, start with a melody. That, that I think that's the a way a, a song is going to be uh, the strongest, you okay. know? So you think of yourself as more of a musical person than necessarily lyrics? Because I know we've, we've talked to people here before who are like, oh, I write a poem, and mm -hmm. then I just add music. Yeah. So it's the opposite for you, you'd say? I mean, it definitely was at first. Like, I okay. definitely came from a musical background, and my brother, he, he's, he was always, like, the poet, and mm. people would be like, why don't you guys just join together? Is he a musician and, as well? Yeah, yeah, Okay. Yeah. So you're a musician, obviously. Mm. And is it because that's the thing you love the most in the world, or could you just not see yourself doing anything else? I don't know what else I would do. I mean, there's, mm -hmm. there's a, a love-hate relationship that happens with this career path, because mm. it's, it is, it's difficult. And also, um, when I first started out, I really genuinely loved music. Okay. I, lo I loved, loved music. And now, you go, now I, I go through phases where it's like, this you know, hard. do I like this? Do I actually enjoy this? I mean, most of the time I don't even listen to music. I listen to pod podcasts. You mm. know, I like I, and so and so, uh, and so yeah. I mean, sometimes it's like, 
it's just what I do, and it's, it's your and job. I, and yeah, but it's it's very much like a relationship where it's like you, you, you know, sometimes it's not great, sometimes it's great, and you have to work to, and keep at it. You know, mm-hmm. for you have to work to keep at it, really. So right yeah. to keep that passion alive. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank yeah. you for talking to me. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and thank you for joining us for Pop Dust Presents. We'll see you next time.